Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing Citytopia. I saw this game on the App Store and it looked pretty cool. I used to, I like these kind of games. I think it's like SimCity, kind of like that. So, yeah. Sorry about that. So. Okay. Yep, we are trying, and that's a terrible reflection. Welcome to Citytopia. Hi, my name is Rick. I heard you want to build the most extraordinary city ever. This is a fantastic project, and I will be your advisor in this journey. Let's start building this Citytopia right now. Get started. Building with cards. Your objective is to grow your city, one neighborhood at a time. From a very humble nowhere, yeah, nowhere, up to a mythical citytopia. We we'll use cards to build the city. There are many cards to discover and collect. Here's a first card pack to help you get started. So it's pretty much like um, Cinema City and World Coaster Tycoon Touch in a city building game. Bungalows, nice. Ooh, workshop. And a shop. Nice. This is my three starting cards. A bungalow, shop, and a workshop. There are three main categories of cards. Homes, factories, and stores. Got it. Homes have residents who request very goods, like bread. Factories produce those goods. Workers must be sent from homes towards factories to produce goods. Stores receive the goods produced in the factories and can store them. Finally, you can loop the loop. Stores, stores can sell goods to homes and satisfy their residents. When you send goods to homes, the residents are satisfied and generate happiness, which is key for the growth of the city. Let's give it a try. Alright. Okay, let's start by building a home. Open the build menu right here. Homes and bungalows. There are five card levels with different stuff and looks. For now, you have a level one bungalows card. Drag it onto an empty slot. I uh, mean, not. We'll place it right there. Yes. Tap on the X button. Tap on the X button to go back to the city. Look, the new residents are happy. Uh, eh. Look, the new residents are requesting bread. Satisfy their need to generate happiness. Let's go. Let's get to work. To provide bread, you need to build a factory first. Open the build menu. Factories. You own a workshop type card. Select the workshop. You own level one workshop card. Drag it into an empty. Uh, I want it right there, as far as away from the house as possible. And we'll do bread. Good. Tap the check mark to confirm your choice and pay the cost. Yes. Tap on the X button to go back to your city. Okay. Do you see the timer? The construction takes time, and we won't wait. Tap the timer to see how to accelerate the construction. No, it's two bucks. Never do this. Never. Like, I might speed up sometimes, but... I mean, yeah. Right now, we're nowhere. Alright, so, as this is going, let, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get every, to get notified of every upload that I do. I will be doing probably another video on this, but just be sure, let's try to hit five likes. If you haven't seen my last video called Jaws Saturday Episode 1, I just, um, hopefully it uploaded. If not, then crap. So, yeah, go check that out. And so, yeah, yay, it's done. Your factory needs workers. Tap on the request icon button above the factory to check the details. As you can see, all your requirements are met. Tap on go to find available workers that we can send to the factory and produce bread. Go. Print transport workers. Yay. 
It, that, that was the sound of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Transporting your workers takes some time. You can tap on the delivery timer to speed things up. No, it's one, and I have to wait three seconds. Boom. Complete request to earn progress stars to get closer to the next level. Tap to collect stars. Whoa, we just leveled up. Nice. Congratulations, you've leveled up. Tap in order to continue. A new building lot is unlocked. Use it to add more buildings to your city. Building lot times three. Nice. Now that factory is producing bread, we can we need a store to sell it to the homes. Open the build menu, stores, boom. Place it right there between the house and the factory. A bread. Check mark, yes. And the X. Oops. Yeah, it's same same thing. Um, you're familiar with coins. It's time to introduce cash. It is a rare currency you can earn throughout the game, and that you spend to sp to speed things to speed up timers. Go ahead, give it a try. No, no, I will not. So, we have ten people, with zero happiness, five thousand four hundred fifty metal things, seven seventy one thousand three hundred fifty one coins. And a hundred bucks. The shop has a request. Tap on the floating icon above it to see the detailed. Oh, yay. We can do it. Transport bread. And we have coin. Nice. Deliver in progress. The bread is being level to the shop. When it is done, the factory will make coins for the bread it was able to sell. You can tap on the timer to speed up the delivery. Once again, speed, the de speed up the delivery. By tipping the driver with cash. Hmm. You know what? If this video gets double the likes I requested, which will be 10 likes as I requested 5, then I will start speeding things up. Even if it takes like 30 seconds, I will speed it up. So go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to turn on notifications and subscribe to get every upload that I to get every video that I upload. Ooh, 60 stars. You're now ready to deliver. We bread to the two homes. Tap on the request bubble over the bonus. Yay. Boom. Nice. Deliver in progress. The bread is being delivered to the bungalows. You can tap on the delivery timer to speed up. Speed up the delivery by spending some cash. Four seconds. All right. <sighs> Sorry. The residents are satisfied and have donated happiness points. Tap to collect them as well as your progress stars. Nice. Complete requests from homes to collect as much happiness as possible and increase your city rank. Time to see how your hard work is paying off. Your factories and stores generate more coins with each delivery. Look inside this factory and I'll show you. Collect your earnings at any moment by tapping on this coin icon. Go ahead, it's your hard earned profit. When your factories or stores have earned a large amount of coins, coins show up directly over the buildings. Tap anywhere to go back into the city. Hey, you just completed a mission. Tap on the mission log to check it out. Completing missions earns you extra rewards like progress stars, coins, cards, and sometimes even cash. Tap on the claim reward button to get it now. So, collect coins from buildings one time, and you get that. Check out the missions often to get those rewards. It will help you progress faster. Tap on the X to close the mission log. You can collect free cards every three hours. A red badge on the store icon will show when it you when it was ready. Tap on the tap on it to open the store. Claim. So we got a boutique. Nice. Ooh, we got a mini bus. And we got another bungalow. 
now that you're getting the hang of this, let's take a closer look at those cards.